Today we get Matthew's version of uh, the betrayal of uh, uh, Jesus and, and with Judas, and Matthew gives us a lot more details. Uh, but again, we kind of have the same, we can look at the same similar approach and see uh, there's kind of a both and here, when Jesus talked about the one who's going to betray him. Uh, at the end, of course, they, they specify or give us a strong hint in Matthew's Gospel, it is Judas. But kind of leading up to it, all throughout the dinner, we can see every one of the disciples were questioning, is it me? Is it me? Because look how Jesus answers. He, he says, well, the one who's going to betray me is the one who has dipped his hand into the dish with me. Well, they all had done that. They were all eating with him, you know? So they're all, uh-oh. And in some sense, they kind of all do. Don't they all abandon him and his hour of being when he's arrested? It says they all scattered and left, disappeared. Uh, it's, a, it's a good reminder um, for us that uh, approaching the, the, uh, the suffering and death of Jesus, we remember that Jesus died for each one of us. Jesus died for me because of my sin, because of my betrayal. Because I, I betray him every time I sin against him. Every time we sin, we choose to reject or deny or abandon Jesus and his way of life that leads us to eternal life. And so this is a very intimate time for us to really grasp onto that and deepen our love and our thankfulness, our gratitude that Jesus died for me individually and because of my sins, because of the ways that I have betrayed him in the past. We also continue to see how Jesus uh, is, is pouring and is going to pour out his love for each one of us to cancel out that sin, to cancel out that betrayal. Love cancels out the sin, the betrayal. We see some hints of that in the first reading here from Isaiah. Look at a couple of these lines. Um, it's talking about the suffering servant Messiah, which is Jesus. It's also talking about Isaiah. Um, he says, I gave my back to those who beat me, my cheeks to those who plucked my beard. Now think of it, I gave my back to those who beat me. So somebody's beating you, but then you let them. You give them your back. They're not forcing the beating, you're, you're, you're letting them beat you. For though I gave my cheeks to those who plucked my beard, you weren't trying to run away or get away, but you gave them your cheek. Pull it up. See, love is always life-giving and life-making, or life-remaking, and sin is always life-taking or life-breaking. So instead of them taking this person's back and beating him, the person gave him the back. He didn't let them sin. The example is, um, I heard a preacher one time talk about how someone stole money from him. And so, well, and what he did, he said, okay, Lord, you know what? Uh, I give, I give them that money. So now they haven't stolen it. They haven't stolen it because I give it to them. Canceled out their sin by a love that is life giving. Interesting, huh? Where has somebody trespassed against you? or hurt you, or taken something from you, where you can have that conversation with the Lord and say, well, Lord, you know, I, I feel like they took this from me, stole this from me, they owe me this, they owe me that, but I'm gonna give this to you. I'm gonna give it to them, so now they don't owe me anything. Cancel out that sin, so now it's no longer a sin. I don't wanna hold it against them. That's the love that Jesus has for each one of us, that he's always outpouring fully, totally, unconditionally. Jesus gives us his life so we can't take it, huh? That's what he said. Nobody takes my life from me. I have the power to lay it down, and I have the power to raise it up again. Nobody killed Jesus. He just died. He gave up his life for us. He didn't let anybody take anything from him. That would be a greater sin upon us. No, he gave over his life out of love for us. How can we, enter into more deeply this Holy Week and Holy Triduum, uh, pour out our love like Jesus, give over our life like Jesus? 
Maybe we're forgiving somebody, and we're continuing to heal um, different relationships. Maybe somebody has taken something from us. We're going to say, Lord, I give that to you. I give that to them so they do not have any sin against them. 